The world of design is constantly evolving, driven by shifts in society and advancements in technology. You know, I've always thought of AI as the most profound technology. The future that AI brings is uncertain. More profound than fire or electricity. But its arrival is inevitable. History has repeatedly shown us that innovation is often met with skepticism and fear. What, what is internet anyway? I have no desire to be a part of the internet. Until it transforms our lives for the better. It is group therapy of the, of the 90s. The invention of the printing press is a perfect example. When it was first introduced in the 15th century, the skeptics questioned its need and argued that it would devalue the work of traditional letterists. They feared that the mass production would diminish the importance of skilled artisans, leaving them unemployed. And it did. But what it also did was revolutionize communication and democratize information for the masses. Through the years following, improvements came rapidly. With the newfound ability to mass produce books at low cost on every subject imaginable, revolutionary ideas reached the hands of every literate European. Change is never comfortable. We are instinctively against it. Our monkey brains are built to survive. To thrive, we need a human intelligence, cognitive intelligence. We must overcome these inhibitions and embrace change. Like the quote goes, those who don't learn the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. As this operator touches the keys, this machine molds each letter of type separately. It is called a monotype machine. The printing press was the first domino. Each domino after it, electricity, radio, television, internet, and now AI, was supposed to be the harbinger of creative decline. But where are we now? Each of those dominoes were actually a step to better life. Of course, jobs will be lost due to AI, but that does not have to be you. Us creators must embrace innovations and see them as a catalyst for progress. AI is not the end of the road for designers. Instead, it's a tool to enhance creativity, streamline processes, and unlock new possibilities within this ever-evolving field of design. Okay, so AI has started to play a significant role in the world of design. We have seen it automating tasks, making predictions, and even creating art. But can it help us build a brand? <laughs> to test this, let's start by breaking down the branding process. It all starts with an idea. Could be a problem you're trying to solve, a market opportunity, or just a passion you want to pursue. This idea then turns into a more formal document called the brand strategy, which is a heavily researched document that contains important aspects like mission and vision statements, target audience, tone of voice, etc. This document serves as a direction for your mind maps and mood boards, which then gets converted into a visual identity, your logo, typography, color palette, and other visual elements. So let's start with the idea. I want to start a restaurant with the theme of Greek gods. From the interiors to the menu, I want it to have a very mythical atmosphere. But before we start designing the logo, we'll first create a brand strategy for it. This step is very important. A brand strategy is a comprehensive plan that outlines the long-term goals and directions for a brand. This encompasses critical aspects such as mission and vision statements, the purpose of your brand, its values, and tone of voice. It also contains some market research like audience personas, competitor analysis, and positioning. Now, why is this brand strategy important? When you're designing a visual identity for a brand, you don't want to just randomly design shapes that look good, right? There are some principles and feelings that you want to communicate through your design. You want to create an identity that represents some ideas. And this document helps you set that direction for your design process. And when you follow this approach and make design decisions based on your brand strategy, it also helps you explain your designs better to your client and reduces unnecessary revisions. Other than just kickstarting the design process, the brand strategy is also a key document that helps facilitate decision making in the business, creates consistency within the brand, and allows everyone to align and work towards the same goal. Usually, you'd spend weeks to come up with all this information, but with AI, you can simply do it in minutes and then spend a couple of hours to refine and polish it. We'll simply insert the idea onto ChatGPT and generate the entire brand strategy for it.
After reading the brand strategy thoroughly, I've drafted a creative direction and mood board. I didn't want to go with a minimal and modern look. Instead, I wanted it to look a little rough and vintage, but at the same time still have a premium essence to it. Besides Pinterest, Ripple and Behance, Skittle's AI board was also a great place to look for these design inspirations. Now that we have a direction and mood board ready, it's time to start working on the graphics. For this, I tried a lot of text to image AI tools like Midjourney, Dali, Leonardo and as good as the results were, they didn't offer much flexibility to edit the generated images. And that's where I found Kittle more functional and useful. It not only offers the ability to generate images from text prompts, but also has an entire editor along with it. So you can instantly edit your generated images on the spot. This way, it acts as a great collaborative tool for designers. It doesn't restrict you to the AI image, but also allows you to use your creativity as a designer to enhance it. I'm gonna open a new project and then go down to the image generator and try generating some images. Here, you can choose the style of the image that you wanna generate and you can even generate vector files which is perfect for logo design. To get some ideas for the logo, I asked ChatGPT which elements would work best for the mark and tried playing around with the prompts. After trying a lot of ideas in a lot of different styles, I eventually settled on this olive leaf image. From the tools on the right, I'm gonna vectorize it and change its color to blue. And now it's looking pretty close to what I want. Next, I need to pair it with a good typography. Since I wanted a vintage look, I went with a font pair of Milkstow 02 and Milkstow 03. And based on some ideas from the mood board, I'll create some layouts for the logo. I tried a bunch of layouts and I even experimented with a few different fonts and out of all these options I ended up finalizing this lockup. I really like this serif option too, probably even more than the previous one but it just wasn't aligning with the creative direction I had in mind so I had to discard it. While trying to filter out the logos, what I found extremely useful is that I can instantly create mockups within the same project and test out my designs. Tools like Kittle really enable designers to combine their creativity with AI, allowing us to be co-pilots in this process. I generated some more AI images, converted them into vectors and changed their colors. These are going to act as additional design elements for the brand. Another thing that pained me as a designer was patterns. Making patterns is a really time consuming task. But here I can create endless patterns with minimal effort and switch between styles in no time. Apart from generating images, AI can also help you pick better colors and fonts for your brand identity. Colormind, Hue, Mint and FontJoy are some great resources for it. To wrap up the identity design process, I designed some mockups for the menu and website using the AI generated vectors and compiled them into a final brand deck. Kittle is free to use, but if you want to try the pro version, there's a discount code below that gets you essentially 30 days off on the pro plan. It's only valid for the next 7 days, so don't miss. Even though our visual identity is ready, the branding process does not stop there. Creating the visual identity is just one part of it. Implementing this visual language across various platforms is equally essential to the branding process. The role of AI extends beyond the generation of logos and visual elements. It extends into every aspect of your brand's presence. Take for example, the ability to create product mockups with platforms like Kittle or even generate entire product photo shoots using Flare.ai. The quality and ease of these tools are truly remarkable. Additionally, platforms like Weed.io use AI to help you repurpose your long-form videos into multiple short-form videos to share across your social media channels, enhancing your brand's online presence. AI has also now made its way to tools like Framer and Figma, making the web design process much easier. It's wild that you can create a fully functional website with just a prompt. 
Now, obviously it's not perfect. You still need your creative skills to perfect it. But what AI has done is drastically reduce the gap between ideation and execution, opening up vast opportunities for exploration and allowing designers to bring the creative visions to life more swiftly and efficiently. With AI by our side, the creative journey becomes not just faster but also more expansive, enabling us to explore uncharted territories of design and imagination. The future looks promising, and I, for one, am excited and optimistic about embracing AI as a designer.